Hey everyone, it's Xcarlife here and in this video I would like to tell you more about dragon riding in the new Dragonflight expansion. As I explained in my previous videos, dragon riding will take a huge part in the new Dragonflight expansion, but what exactly is dragon riding? Now, dragon riding itself is the new form of aerial movement that replaces your flying in the new Dragonflight expansion and it lets you defy gravity while using momentum and skills to soar the higher heights and explore the Dragon Isles. It takes approximately 30 minutes to unlock your Dragon Riding when you first enter the Dragon Isles and start leveling in the Waking Shores. Upon completing a short introduction questline you will also receive your first Dragon Isles Drake and gain access to the first set of Dragon Riding skills. Vigor is the new primary resource that is used by your dragon riding abilities. Vigor re recharges while you are grounded, whether you are mounted or not, and while dragon riding at high speeds. When you first unlock your dragon riding, you will only have 3 Vigor slots available, but with all of your talents maxed out, you will have up to 6 Vigor slots available and rapidly increase your regeneration. Dragon Riding abilities are used to navigate your Dragon Isles Drake and spend your Vigor points. You will also unlock them gradually by completing the main campaign storyline in each of the four zones. The first set of abilities includes four passives as the other Dragon Riding abilities are unlocked one by one as you complete the main campaign in the new zones. When you first unlock your Dragon Riding, your Dragon Isles Drake will feel very weak due to having low Vigor and low Vigor regeneration. Dragon Riding Talents are unlockable perks that ultimately allow you to stay into the air for longer periods of time, increasing your Dragon Riding expertise. Once unlocked, the Dragon Riding Talents are account-wide and all of your characters will be able to access them. I also do recommend that you unlock the Dragon Riding talent straight away the moment you unlock your Dragon Riding for a smoother leveling experience. Dragon Glyphs are the new glowing objects that you must fly through to earn your talent points. Once collected you can spend them to buy your Dragon Riding talents and they are scattered through the Dragon Isles. In total there are 48 Glyphs to collect all spread over the new zones. During your journey you will also unlock 4 different Dragon Isles Drakes, the renewed Proto Drake is the first Dragon Riding mount that you will unlock upon receiving the achievement called A New Friend located into the Waking Shores. Secondly there is the Windborn Drake which you will be able to unlock at the end of the On Around Plains campaign when you earn the Together in the Skies achievement. Your third drake will be the Highland Drake and is unlocked in the Azure Span from the achievement called an Azure Ally. And as last you will earn the Cliffside Wilder Drake which is unlocked in Taldresses. Dragon Riding mounts are fully customizable, the individual customization options come from professions, quests, raids, pvp and other sources. The dragons can also be customized at the rostrum of transformation which basically looks like a golden platform. It takes a few flying tricks to keep your dragon at a high speed or to get your dragon higher into the air. You can press your spacebar twice on your keyboard in order to go up with your dragon and start flying. If you want to gain some speed you can first fly down to then fly up again which will increase your dragon speed. In order to fly higher you can just first go down to gain some speed and then go up again in combination with your dragon riding skills to climb higher into the air and get some decent heights. When you're looking for something and you want to keep your dragon at the same location, you can just make circles into the air and your dragon should stay at the same location depending on how high your dragon is. Ladies and gentlemen, I hope that you have liked this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. This was Xcar Life and I see you in the next one.